हेलो एवरीवन ग्रीटिंग फ्रॉम इंडिया दिस इज निर्भय चौहान फॉर मेक लव सेल्फ लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स वेल दिस इज द फाइनल ट्यूटोरियल फॉर अवर कोर्स टेक्टर ऑफ अ बीम फुल कोर्स सो दिस इज नाइन्थ वन इन द सीरीज वेयर विल बी डिस्कसिंग ऑल अबाउट एक्सपोर्टिंग द ड्राइंग हाउ यू कैन सक्सेसफुली एक्सपोर्ट इड दैट मे बी योर एस वी जी और मे बी योर पी डी एफ एंड सो लेट्स मूव ऑन सो हेयर वी हैव द फाइनल टच अप एज वी डिस्क लास्ट टोरियल that we finished with the decorations and the hatches required for your drawing final touch up now we'll be discussing how you can export it uh, in a desired format which are usually svg and pdf so let's begin simply select the page in which you are interested because sometimes you may have multiple uh, pages in your project like page 1 page 2 after selection here you have an option which says export the page as svg simply click on it Then it will ask you about the location. Suppose I am giving location as I am saying it, my drawing. I'll save it. It will just take a while and do some processing, and save your file into the respective SVG file here. I've already opened the folder, so it's processing. It's loading actually. So once we are done, you can view your SVG. maybe in your browser or maybe in a good svg viewer like we have inkscape as we discuss in our second tutorial we discuss all about pages how to modify them so the same software we using now so inkscape is a wonderful open source software i always recommend that so here it's opening and here you can see your drawing getting exported very finely and you can view your drawing here with all the dimension sections being cut very finely and the hatches are visible very accurately and they are very quite uh, eye soothing also and your rendered view your schedule your svg imported symbol is also there very well and you can see the quality of everything like text you can see it's quite vector similarly is a thing for your lines these lines the hatches are obviously from the image that's why uh, but the geometrical hatches are perfectly fine so you see these they are vector and the detail view you can see here and the colors are also very nicely visible okay and your axiometric view and your title block which is perfectly fine with the right symbols the only issue is if you remember we created this rich text information which is this one so this is the issue right now that this rich text information which is uh, you can say your rich text annotation is not getting exportly as expected so but not an issue uh, this is used uh, used very often in your project usually you use simple annotation like this one okay which we are used and you can make some modification just like we did here uh, italics or bold so you can neglect using the rich text annotation wherever required but still if you want to export pdf there this all the things will be uh, coming nicely so i'll show you the pdf thing also so there is a, a right approach for that either you can export your particular uh, svg also as pdf so what you can do is go to file option okay and then uh, click on the save as option here okay and then change the a uh, format with which you are saving uh, with the portable document format which is pdf and then click on save don't simply control p and do those things and click okay here with default settings like there is an option here which says print it or do those things which is not recommended so do by that option and then if you view you have your pdf ready here and you if you scroll <coughs> if you zoom in you can see the quality is perfectly maintained as it was there in your svg so this is a benefit of actually exporting the things from the inkscape but now i will show you how you can do a similar thing uh, within your freecad also so let me just close this so I'll, you open just your 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 freecad model and then basically uh, you select your page okay and then uh, you have an option in the file menu which says export pdf just don't do print or something like that it may have some different settings simply say export pdf you have this folder open you can say this as uh, pdf 
drawing all right and then just say save it will also take a while to generate your pdf and then here you have your pdf drawing which is slightly heavier in size and if you view in your any default pdf viewer right now you can see it's quite coarse but if you zoom in you can see everything is very well maintained your hatches are quietly uh, well generated your image hatches of concrete and bricks your section lines are very in vector format so your every view and your dimension are quite nice but it's always recommended that you uh, i'll uh, it's promoted also in from my side that you try to take use more of svg format as uh, you can do certain operations also in svg i'll just show you you can see all of your views are very well generated pdf also if usually uh, you can neglect using any hatches then you can simply get the ve uh, vector lines like this so and one more thing is your rich text annotations comes very nicely along with the hyperlink also so if i just click here you can see the link to blog which i gave the hyperlink opens very nicely so this is a benefit of the pdf but still i'll recommend you try using the svg format because in svg you see you can zoom to any view and then you can do your desired operations here see you can select any line you can select any font and then you can make any changes here okay so it's all up to you it's just like you can say dxf format for autocad it's very similar to that and it's scalar also you can like scale it in any direction that's why it's uh, more recommended and you can print it on any size of paper all right so the last thing basically here we have an option for the dxf also which is experimental there are certain things which are not exported usually so that's why uh, usually users face issues but still i'll show you how you can export it after setting a page you click on this option dxf and then you can write here uh, my dxf drawing and click save after you are done clicking save here you will see your dxf has been exported so i'll just show you how you can view it like i have opened some online viewer here i'll just drag my file to this and then you can you can view in your any favorite a dxf viewer like you have libracad or anything like that so you can view you can see the information is not uh, visible all as there it was there in the free cad not everything is exported nicely that's why the svg is recommended the dxf thing is still something work in progress you may feel issue in the dxf thing in terms of annotation the edges so the svg is the best and then a pdf is also recommended it's it's very nice for you so this was the final thing basically guys after you are done preparing your drawing how you can export it uh, in pdf in svg and how you can uh, circulate it to your design team to your site uh, to your further uh, execution team so freecad is quite helpful in many many aspects so this was a detailed course especially for the tech draw workbench so i hope the whole series which you have gone through so from starting from the first tutorial till now was helpful to you uh, in your own ways and you can definitely find it useful when doing your practical uh, getting your practical drawings for your own projects so this was it guys we'll see you in some other tutorial or another course let me know with your comments if you need anything else and what more improvements we can make in terms of something and let me know if something has been missed i have tried to cover each and every feature of this workbench in relation to especially your bim workbench where you have your architectural models so that's it guys this was nirbhay chauhan take care goodbye thank you so much